my low low. Head on a swivel, you know serving me's a no-no. Clean as a whistle as I pull out in my rose race. Yellow bone passenger, they see it, they say, oh boy. Tell Kelly, back it up, my call me loco. Down for armed traffic, you know, make me pull that. Ask you what you laughing at, represent that mud life. Dirty money, money, better get your mud right. We come together, holding hands and holler, good life. Fans, it's now time to start the 2021 Senior Day festivities. Today, we honor four student athletes who have helped Creighton to a record of 82 and 41 over the last four seasons. They've compiled three double digit wins versus Nebraska and have spent 27 weeks in the top 25 of the AP poll, including 12 weeks in the top 10. This group also owns 15 wins over top 25 teams in the past four years, including six top 10 victories and a 2018 victory over eventual national champ Villanova. CU reached the NCAA tournament in 2018, advancing to the quarterfinals of the NIT in 2019, while last season's team collected the program's first Big East title in school history. That win came against eighth-ranked Seton Hall on senior day. Next week, they'll head to New York City and the world's most famous arena where they'll be the number two overall seed as they try to win the league's ninth tournament title in the last 23 years. Helping to present our student athletes with a framed jersey is Creighton's McCormick Endowed Director of Athletics, Bruce Rasmussen, and Creighton President, the Reverend Daniel S. Hendrickson, SJ. Keeping in mind that we'll recognize classmate Alex O'Connell following our final home game next season. Our first honoree is in his fourth year in the program. Jacob Epperson has overcome numerous injuries since making his debut with a slam dunk during Creighton's pink out win versus Georgetown back in 2018. He scored 12 points during Creighton's 2018 win versus number three Villanova and owns 18 career slams and seven three-pointers with the Blue Jays. In the summer of 2019, Epperson helped show his Blue Jay teammates around on an unforgettable summer trip to Australia. This season, he returned to action for the first time in nearly two years and has provided a presence and spark off the bench in numerous games. A journalism and advertising major, he's a two-time member of the Big East All-Academic Team and will graduate in May. He's the son of Ken and Katherine Epperson, number 41, Jacob Epperson. Fans, turn your attention to the video board as we play a video featuring highlights of Jacob's time at Creighton. I mean, the reason I came here to Creighton is just because it was so um, close-knit. Like, everyone kind of knew each other. Everyone was kind of helping each other out. And I think that was the biggest thing for me, especially when coming from Australia, my parents were all the way back in Australia at the time. I just needed that kind of closeness to help me through this. I mean, it was surreal when I got out there. I mean, the fans were crazy, just kind of clapping for me. I was just, you know, surprised I got all that. I mean, the fans just really kind of care about you. Um, but when I got in there, I mean, everything was going a million miles an hour. I was just kind of <laughs> just trying to stay at pace with everything. But by the time I got out, I was, <laughs> I was dead. My lungs were gone. <laughs> Basketball just brought me so much. I mean, it brought me here to Creighton, allowed me to get a, a free education here, which I'm really grateful for and I'll use for the rest of my life. Um, on top of that, I've met so many great people along the way. Although it hasn't gone the way I wanted it to and it's brought some tears and stuff like that, it's uh, just been a big part of my life growing up because I started playing at four years old. My dad kind of has taught me most things throughout my life, although <laughs> I didn't listen to most of it. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been a huge part of my life and it's brought me to here in the USA. You mean, not too many, you can't say that to many things, you know, you can't go and travel the world with some sports, you know, and I'm just grateful that it brought me here to meet so many great people. Um, and I mean, if you love something, just keep trying to go at it. Uh, I loved playing basketball and I mean, I, I'm going to hate to, uh, to leave it behind. Yeah, I mean, it's been a rough process, but I've had many great people help me around here. Like I've talked to doctors, I've talked to uh, Mark Jones, talked to Mac, um, Ben, 
family. I mean, they've, they've all been supportive with my decision and I'm, I'm just grateful for that. I mean, just thank you. Uh, I mean, you <laughs> dropped everything in Australia to come out uh, here to the US to watch me play, watch my sister Brittany play. I mean, you've sacrificed a lot for us and I'm just grateful for all that. Just couldn't put it into words. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Epperson. Our second player being honored today is completing his third year with the Jays after transferring to Creighton in the summer of 2018. Last season, Mahoney made an immediate impact with the Blue Jays, earning Big E's Sixth Man of the Year award and scoring a combined 55 points in three victories against top 10 teams. This year, Denzel averages 13 points per game and is among the league leaders in steals and minutes per game as well. He's made more than 200 career three-pointers and scored more than 1,600 career points, also ranking in the top 10 nationally among active players in free throws made. The communications studies major will graduate in May, the son of Desmond and Hazel Mahoney, number 34, Denzel Mahoney. Fans, turn your attention to the video board as we play a video featuring highlights of Denzel's time here at Creighton. I mean, the people that challenge me the most are my family, especially my parents, and uh, most importantly, my brother. Um, he's my best friend. He's uh, the reason why I play basketball. So, no, nah, we talk about everything, the good games, bad games, what he thinks I could have did better, what I think I could have did better, what I think good at, all that. Uh, it's just something I could be honest with. And I mean, he's played college basketball, so he understands perseverance. Uh, you know, times are always going to be good. Um, just got to keep pushing through. And I think uh, since I've been here, there's been a lot of downs, and uh, I've always found a way to overcome uh, with the help of uh, the coaches and my teammates. The crowd was going crazy when I checked in. It was just a totally different feeling that I can't even describe for real. I feel like they were like a huge part of our success, you know, uh, changing momentums when we made big plays and big shots and all that, and then having that taken away from us this year. That's been different, especially going from the first game to now. It's been better, though, for sure. So on the court, it has to be when we beat Seton Hall for the Big East Championship, for sure. Um, I haven't been in anything like that. Uh, I haven't won, didn't win a high school championship, so um, that was like the biggest moment I've ever had in that with the guy that I go to work with and battle with every day in practice. So that was just a fulfilling moment. I say my parents and my brother just want to say thank you for believing in me and trusting me. Uh, I know y'all invested a lot of money, time, uh, just a lot of everything, you know. Y'all love me and, you know, showing those investments and putting it into me and just uh, being my biggest fans, but yet my biggest critics. Uh, I needed that. I still need it. And um, I appreciate y'all forever. And um, I love y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, Denzel Mahoney. Next up, Damian Jefferson. And this is his fourth year at Creighton and third year on the floor after taking a red shirt season. He's made multiple appearances on SportsCenter's top 10 plays, whether it's for his hustle plays or dunking ability. One of the program's most versatile and most improved players. Jefferson ranks among the Big East leaders in scoring, rebounding, steals, field goal percentage, and minutes per game. The son of Everett and Rose Jefferson, DJ, will graduate in May with a degree in American Studies. A native of East Chicago, Indiana, number 23, Damian Jefferson. Let's check out some highlights from Damien's time, DJ's time here at Creighton. For me, I started young. I was with uh, my dad, because my dad was playing basketball, and my cousins was playing basketball. So 
I was always about around basketball. Uh, I grew up watching it. I grew up playing it with them, and uh, I knew like, once I couldn't, once I couldn't meet my dad, it just drove a competitiveness in me, and uh, I just kind of stuck to it from there. And, uh, I fell in love with the game. By the time his, my senior year came around, and my dad even told my mom that I was way better than him, but he never told me that I was better than him. But obviously, she told me, and she's like, "Keep it a secret." So I'm pretty sure he's gonna see this. He gonna, he gonna be mad at my mom that he, that she told me this. Mm, I would say my favorite memory on the court is just winning a Big East um, Big East regular season championship. I would say that was the, probably the best the best feeling I had. Um, with the fans storming the court and just seeing all the smiles on everybody's faces and seeing the smile on teammates' faces and just being able to cut down that net and taking it, taking some of that net to back to East Chicago because I feel like I made, I made a lot of people happy when we won that when we won that game and it's not just about me it's about like people who look up to me and people who like, look at me as a role model so I, that was that, that was huge for especially for me my family my teammates obviously but it was huge for the neighborhood because. They, it's not too many people that they, they got to look up to, and that, that was definitely that was a good moment for me. And I just feel like you can't you can't describe the feeling like when you when you first run out that tunnel and you hear all those fans cheering and clapping. I just feel like you can't. You, it's just something like you just like wow, like and like you got fans like yelling your name and telling you like I love you or just like oh my god that's that's DJ or that's Mitch or Denzel or Marcus like. That's just a great feeling, and it's just like that give you butterflies, and and man, that that just that just it makes you want to go harder because we feed off our fans. They love Creighton basketball, and it's and it's just it's just a feeling I can't even describe. It's just it's just it's amazing. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it straight up. I'm, I only dunk that ball because I missed three free throws in a row. It's like all right, when I get this ball, I'm gonna dunk it. I have no choice. I'm not gonna lay it up. So. Uh, that's the only reason why I dunked the ball. It wasn't no beef between me and Mama Wu, so like, I don't know, I see, I be seeing it on Twitter, but like, yeah, I only dunked that ball, only dunked that ball because I missed those three free throws in a row, and I knew that my dad was mad because my dad was on the sideline. I could see it in his face, but uh, yeah, I only dunked that ball because I missed those three free throws. It was great because that, obviously, I, I feel like that was the turning point of the game because fans were saying that my teammates was happy, the bench was happy, and I think, I think I even seen Coach Mack give me a little a little fist pump on that one so that, that was huge that was huge I want to say thank you to everybody like especially my parents like all the sacrifices that they went through to get me to this to this point and where I'm at now and not just them just like my whole support system my family I feel like we still got more to prove so it's not over yet so don't get too like sad about it but it's not over yet ladies and gentlemen DJ Damian Jefferson Last but not least is Eudora, Kansas native Mitchell Ballock. He has started each of Creighton's last 96 games, a streak that started during his freshman season in an overtime win versus third-ranked Villanova. Ballock ranks third in Creighton history with nearly 300 career three-pointers and is among the top five in Big East history in that category as well, setting a league record with 11 three-pointers in 12 attempts during Creighton's 2019 Senior Day win versus DePaul when he scored a career-high 39 points. He's the only player in program history with 90 or more three-pointers in consecutive seasons. A management major, he will graduate in May. The son of Don and LaDonna Ballock, number 24, Mitch Ballock. Take a turn to the video board for highlights from Mitch's time here at Creighton. Freshman year, obviously, you're just looking to see the court. You're not really looking to do anything else. You're just looking to get on the floor, make an impact, and hopefully uh, lead your team to victories. Um, so that was my goal. Uh, obviously, when you when you check in the first time, uh, Century Link's obviously different than from Eudora High School. Uh, there's a couple more seats and there's a couple more people. It's a little bit, it's a little louder. So with that being said, you just want to get out there and kind of throw the nerves out the window. But at the end of the day, you're just playing basketball, whether you're a freshman or, or you're a senior, it's all just the same game, you know? That game was unbelievable. Um, the crowd was louder than I've ever heard it uh, at that time. It was unbelievable. Uh, I think Nova was like the third or fourth ranked team in the country when they came in. And for me too, I played well and 
uh, Marcus trusted me down the stretch to make a shot and threw it to me, and then we almost threw it away. But we ended up winning the game, and, and it was unbelievable. And, um, the things I'll meet, miss most is probably just the people, um, the relationships I've developed with people. Um, at the end of the day, hopefully, I mean, Lord willing, basketball continues and I'll uh, have opportunities to play uh, wherever. But at the end of the day, when I leave here, it's just going to be those relationships and those people that I'm going to miss the most just because, I mean, they've had a huge impact on making me who I am today and just kind of giving me different perspectives and, and different opportunities that I never would have thought, I never would have imagined before coming here. But obviously the Omaha community and even the Creighton community is just unbelievable and, and the people that I've come into contact with and the interactions that I've made off the court and on the court are the ones that are going to last forever. Hey, I definitely could have been better that one in the corner rattled, so it should have really been 12 for 12. But then if it was 12 for 12, I would have definitely pulled a heat check up to about four spots, so it probably would have been 12 for 13 if that one in the corner goes. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. Um, I mean, obviously I was just, <laughs> just trying to win and when shots go, shots are going and, and I just kind of got on a heater. It was cool. It was fun. Obviously, when you have games like that, you just it kind of amplifies the the hard work and the work ethic behind it, and it kind of makes all those hours and, and time worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Belloc. Fans, at this time, two of our student athletes have asked for the opportunity to speak to the crowd. We'll start with number 41, Jacob Epperson. Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Uh, <laughs> all right, you're gonna have to bear with me here. I'm not very good at these uh, speeches and stuff. So I wrote it all down just before the game. So <laughs> um, there have been uh, just so many <laughs> great moments here at Creighton uh, for me. Um, and probably the biggest one for me was uh, when I broke my leg uh, last year. I mean, not the moment itself, it wasn't great, I didn't enjoy it all too much, but um, for me it was just all the love I received from you guys. I mean, it was kind of a dark time for me. I mean, I tried to stay positive about it, but mentally it's just a, it's just a, a rough course, um, especially with it being my uh, my third injury consecutively, so it wasn't too much fun. But I mean, when I was getting um, tweets from you guys and um, letters from you guys, I mean, it just, it really meant a lot and it helped me get through the process. And I mean, I couldn't have done it without you guys. I wouldn't be able to play this season without you. <laughs> and through this process, I couldn't go without thanking uh, Ben McNair. I mean, we, we spent like countless hours in the training room. And I mean, too many to count, and I'm looking for a name on my table in there somewhere at some point, you know? <laughs> uh, on top of that, I'd like to, oh, I lost, lost my way here. Uh, there we go, I'd like to thank uh, Jeremy, Rachel, and uh, Luca for allowing me into their place this summer to get a place to work out, because I needed to build my strength back up in this leg, and I mean, I. Couldn't have done it without the opportunity working at your house. I don't know where Rachel and Luca are. Are they up there somewhere, Jeremy? No? Well, <laughs> you can tell them I said this later. <laughs> uh, and then, I mean, Jeremy, thank you for all the hours you put into me, man. I mean, we spent so much time on the Delos, uh, table work, weight room. Uh, I mean, I kind of got sick and tired of seeing you, but... <laughs> I mean, I, I would do it all over again, honestly. Thank you, I appreciate you. Uh, coaching staff, I'd like to thank you guys for the past four years. Although you haven't been able to coach me as much because I've been sitting on the sideline. <laughs> I mean, you guys helped me through the process, man. You're always there with me, you know, just helping me through it, trying to put a, keep a smile on my face and I mean, I just appreciate each and every one of you. <laughs> then I'd like to thank uh, Dan. Dan's up there somewhere probably. Oh, there he is. What's up, Dan? 
Wish you could have been on this trip. <laughs> uh, Mitch and Ty. I mean, once again, the, just the process was kind of a dark time for me. And without these guys kind of there, joking around with me, having a good time, I mean, I just, it just would have been so much different without you guys. Man. I just appreciate you guys so much. The funny thing about that was about a day after I broke my leg, Dan brings me a toy giraffe with uh, a bandage around it with a broken leg. <laughs> Here you go, good luck with the process and all that. So, <laughs> I mean, just providing laughs like that. Uh, then on top of that, I mean, Megan, I literally have no idea what I would have done without you during that entire process. I mean, you made the days easier for me. It was just... <laughs> It was a rough, very rough process. Uh, and I mean, I'm sure it was as difficult for you as it was for me, or maybe even worse, you know. I'm, sh I'm sure it's tough putting up with me sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then um, Rachel and Steve, I appreciate you guys letting me into your home. I mean, it, it means a lot. Just when I couldn't get back home to mom and dad, it just meant a lot. Oh, and babe, I, I love you. I appreciate you. <laughs> hey, I'm getting some brownie points here, right? I'm getting brownie points. <laughs> um, and then to my uncle Ronald and Aunt Bev who were able to come tonight. Uh, coming here in like 20, I think 2017, 2016, going to Lalu. I mean, you guys helped me, you know, move in and everything. And you made the process easy for me, transitioning over here from Australia. Which, is usually, which would have been a difficult process without you guys. And I know my mom hates this, but you guys are like my American parents. <laughs> and I appreciate you guys. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> and then to uh, my mom and my dad, I mean, thank you guys for everything you did for me. I mean, all the hours growing up you put into me, taking me to practice, uh, I mean, taking me to games. I know it was a lot at the time. Uh, and I just can't thank you guys enough. And then on top of that, taking you know, my sisters to school and me to school and then taking Brittany to her practices and Millie to her dance recitals and all that. Yep, shout out to Amelia Epperson up there. She's, she wanted it, <laughs> she wanted it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I mean, myself and Amelia and Brittany can't thank you guys enough for what you did. I mean, you guys dropped everything to come over here to be closer to us, and it, it really means a lot. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it for me. I'm not really, I don't really know how to end it, but. <laughs> I appreciate all y'all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Epperson. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I, I was not prepared to speak, but uh, man, I figured I, that would be selfish of me to uh, come out here and uh, not be able to speak to y'all and thank y'all. So, uh, first off, man, I just want to thank God, man, because without Him, none of this would be possible. And then uh, I gotta thank the people behind the scenes who don't get enough credit for what what they do, so I just want to thank John McHugh and all the managers throughout my four years. <laughs> then second of all, I mean third of all, man, I'm not going to keep saying third of all, fourth of all, but I'm just keep going. But anyways, I just want to thank the fans, man, because without y'all, none of this would be possible, man. And It's been a blessing, man. I remember when I first came here, it was like, wow, like, what am I getting myself into? I walked, in, I walked into an arena. I was um, a red shirt, sophomore, a little immature kid. Uh, and I was just, it was, and just hearing all you guys, man, just cheer for guys who played before me, it was amazing. I was like, wow, this is what I'm getting myself into next year when I'm eligible. So, man, that was beautiful. And uh, I just, I, I just want to say thank you all, man. Yeah, but 
I figured, I always told myself, I'm like, these fans are crazy. They come into games when it's four, four, four degrees um, weather. I was like, wow, man, these, these fans are crazy. But I figured that y'all just love creating basketball, and we, can, we can't thank y'all enough for that. Uh, I just want to say thank my teammates, man, uh, all the teammates who, who've been here with me and uh, carried me along the way, man. So we had a lot of ups and downs, but y'all – Y'all stuck together, man. We're we, we going to leave a family. And last but not least, man, I got to, well, not, not last, but I, I want to thank my parents, man, because without y'all, man, without y'all, none of this would be possible. None of this would be possible. <laughs> Like like I said in the video, man, y'all y'all sacrificed a lot for me to get here. Y'all put me through a lot. Um, me and my brothers, and um, I can't thank y'all enough for that. And um, yeah, so so I'm thank my I want to thank my coaches. Uh, man, y'all know how I feel about y'all. I love y'all, man. Uh, it's been a journey from when I first got here. When I got injured, y'all stayed on me, man. Y'all worked with me through through thick and thin. And I can't thank y'all enough. And uh, especially Coach Huss, man. Coach Huss. Coach, that's my dude, man. Coach, that's my dude. Uh, I remember when I, when I transferred from New Mexico, he sent me a text message. He said, you better get ready because I'm going to be recruiting you so heavy. So, I, <laughs> and it was funny because every step of the way, every step of the way, he, he stayed with me, he texted me every day, he called me, and then he made sure I was, he made sure I was going to be right to come here and be with you guys. And so I um, thank Coach Huss for that. But like I said in the video, don't get too emotional, man. It's not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Damian Jefferson. All right. Uh, those that know me, I'm not a, I'm not a big talker. So uh, first of all, I want to give thanks and glory to God for uh, putting me here uh, around these great people. And... Um, I want to thank the guys, man. We, been, we had a tough year, man. A lot of ups and downs, and um, we stayed a family. We love each other, and it shows on and off the court, so I appreciate y'all. Um, like Dane said, fans, I mean, half the reason why I came here, man. I mean, best, <laughs> best in the country, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Last but not least, Mahoney's, Freeman's, Daryl, Natalie, Mom, Dad, I wouldn't be here without y'all. Love y'all. And uh, we're not done. Denzel Mahoney, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'm, I'm going to try not to repeat what any of these guys said because obviously we all had different experiences, but um, I'm probably going to sweat more through this than I did through the game just because that's kind of how it goes. And, and I didn't write anything like Jake because every time I write something, I always mess it up and I just want to go from the heart and go off the top of the head. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, uh, like I said in the video, uh, the fans have been absolutely unbelievable. Um, the connections that I've made are going to last a lifetime. And I, if I don't talk about you, you, you have my number, text me. I'd love to sit down and, and, and just hash it out and talk about whatever. You know, I'm, I'm available. We're in a bubble. I got all the time in the world so we can talk and hang out and, and do what we do. But just the experiences, I mean, like what – in, in Australia, you know, I, I met a great family in the Sudikas. Uh, I would love to go skydiving with you guys one day. Uh, if we don't, it is what it is. But I appreciate the, the connection we built and the relationship we built, and I hope we can continue that, and I hope I can beat you in some golf and not shoot a 120 next time. So that's just what it is. Um, the Harbins, uh, you guys have been unbelievable. Uh, we got this thing. Tom's pointing to me. Uh, you guys have been unbelievable since the day I came for – for the, for the College World Series, you, you did what you did, and, and you've always opened up your homes and, and the connection and, and the ability just to kind of lash out and say whatever in the basketball world, and you just get it. You understand it. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you, all you've done for my family and just everything that you've done, and we'll keep that going. Hopefully, we'll keep that going into the Final Four and into the championship. So that's huge. Uh, 
I said I was going to go off the top of the head, the Clements. I mean, obviously, I didn't expect you guys to be there, but TC was one of my favorites, f favorite teammates in four years. Uh, he laid the foundation for kind of who I am and, and how I approach the game, and, it, and learning after him was admirable, and he's just one of those Kansas boys. So I was here with them for one year, and it was one of the best years of my life. So I appreciate you guys for that. Michaela, shout out. You're one of the biggest fans, Creighton fans, and I appreciate you for that. Um, everything that you've gone through this year and the strength and the courage that you've showed, uh, just accepting my girlfriend and I kind of in your family and, and Betty sharing her with us, uh, that's unbelievable. And the way you handled that situation, I, I have nothing but respect for you, and, and let's keep this thing going. I'm expecting a text after the game, and I would love to talk on the phone, so I appreciate you, Michaela. Um, I would love to talk about the teammates, but when, when you talk about teammates and we get to the coaches, it, it, it's kind of like it's over. You know, this is the last time I'm going to see you guys. We'll have a lot more to say in, in a few weeks, and we'll get back and, and we'll tell you how that goes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on past them, but just know I love each and every one of you and every single opportunity and relationship that we've developed. So I appreciate that, and we'll, we'll talk more when we're on the road together in the next month. So I appreciate you guys. Love, love. Uh, next to my, I mean, to my high school coach, I don't know where he's sitting. I was trying to find him during the game and show him my defense, but I haven't been playing then and I haven't been playing it now. So that's just is what it is. But uh, Coach D, you, the opportunity that you created for me and just the access that I had with you and, and let me into the gym and, and Coach Tegmeyer and family, just introducing me to them and, and having my back through thick and thin. Obviously, it's, it's a grind. It's a, long, it's a long time just trying to get through things. So... The foundation that you built for me and the, just letting me into the gym and making me the player that I am and raising me the way that, that you raise your own kids. You know, I appreciate that and I respect that and I'm glad that you guys could be here tonight. Um, uh, my girlfriend's parents and my girlfriend, uh, you guys are unbelievable. Um, you kind of, like Jake said, um, obviously I didn't go through the injuries, but I was close. I was close to that. And it was unbelievable that you guys just kind of took me under your whim and, and welcomed me like one of your own. And I appreciate that and just all the opportunities that we've had uh, in the past three years now. And I hope we can continue those. And, and it means a lot that you guys made the trip out uh, to this game and, and to a game a few, uh, few days ago. Obviously the circumstances aren't the best for all the, st all the fans, but it's been an unbelievable opportunity just to kind of get to know you guys, and hopefully we can continue that and, and keep going. Um, hold up. Uh, I'm going to come back to that. But Jeremy, obviously that popped something into my head. Jeremy, none of this would have been possible without you. Um, just kind of figuring out my legs. And I mean, I have one leg an inch and a half longer than the other. It's tough. My hips are a little out of balance. But it's kind of why I run weird. I don't know, something. but. Jeremy, I appreciate you. You kind of revived my career, and I mean, you, you've laid the foundation for me to continue and hopefully play for the next, I mean, until I can't anymore. So I appreciate that. I appreciate, Rachel, everything that you've done. And, and just like Jake said, inviting us into your family and, and, and taking us in as one of your own, that's huge. So I appreciate you for that. Uh, my girlfriend uh, has been the biggest supporter, I mean, in my life. Uh, during this, this my college career. Um, I have more respect for her than anybody in the gym. No offense to any of you guys, but she's unbelievable. She's on her own path, and the way she handles and carries herself is just admirable. So if I was half as good as you are, then I did a pretty good job. So I appreciate you. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, my parents. Uh, you guys... Having six of us, um, now you got your, your, your grandparents, uh, all of us are aunts and uncles, and the sacrifice, I mean, I would love, to, love for you guys to be down here to give you a hug and, and just tell you, like, all that you've done for me, but, I mean, it's, I, I just can't speak about it. Um, the sacrifices you've made, obviously the sacrifices you've made not to be down here. Um, you laid the foundation for the family. You showed hard work, kind of in the love category. Uh, it's just, if I was half as half as good as, if my work ethic is half as good as your guys' is, then I'm going to be a successful human being. And, and I appreciate you guys for raising me the way that you did. 
I appreciate everything you did raising us. Uh, obviously, Dad, you're on the road a lot and just providing for us and Mom holding it down in the family. Uh, it's unbelievable, and I hope I'm, I hope I'm as good as a father as you was to, you were to me, and I hope my I hope Dad was as good of a mom as you were to you, <laughs> my kids. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's unbelievable. And my brothers and, and sisters and sister-in-laws and everybody, uh, the support um, it was huge. It, it obviously you guys made me who I am today. Um, I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, beat me up on the court since 05, 06, 07, just busting up my knees and making me cry to mom, you know, <laughs> and dad telling me to stop being a baby, you know, that's just, it is what it is, you know. So I appreciate you guys for, for making me who I am, and I appreciate what you've done for me going forward and, and laying the foundation for that, so I appreciate that. Uh, I guess to wrap it all up, um, these last four years have meant the most to me. I mean, the relationships I made, Ras, Butch, all you guys, like, I mean, it starts from the top, you know? Uh, you learn those things from the top. Father, Father Hendrickson, you've done an unbelievable job. Um, I have the utmost respect for you guys going forward and, and everything that you do. So uh, it's been incredible. The relationships I've made, I'll, I'll, never, I'll never forget about them. Um, these guys down here play paved the way for us and, and kept that mentality going for us. So uh, it's all love. Like Jeff said in the video, um, it's not over yet. We're just getting started, and I think we can do something special, so let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Ballock. One more time for our four seniors. Gentlemen, good luck in New York City. Before we leave, though, direct your attention to the video board for a special message from the family and friends of today's seniors. Denzel, I am so proud of you. I knew you could do it. Go out there tonight and be great. Congratulations, you're almost at the finish line. Hey Mitch, hello and good luck from Jacksonville, Florida. Mitch, what's up, man? Sorry we couldn't be there for your big day. Uh, we just wanted to say congrats on an incredible career. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished on the court, um, but even more proud of the man you've become. I'm so thankful to be your brother. Just keep being you. Um, good luck today, and good luck the rest of the season. Sending lots of luck and warm Florida weather to you and the rest of the Blue Days. Enjoy your last game at home. I'll see you in Indy in a few weeks. Love you, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Jake. Um, good luck on your senior night, man. Hey, what's up, Damien? The great 2-3, the best to ever wear. On behalf of me, the family, and East Chicago, we want to congratulate you, dude. Keep doing your thing, ball out, and know dreams do come true. We'll catch you on ESPN later. I see a triple-double coming. Holla. This one is for my Damien Jefferson, number 23, Blue Jays. I just wanted to say how proud I am of you today. Today is senior day. I wish I could be there, but I'm there in spirit. I just want us to say, continue doing you and being Damien. I love you, kid. Why not me? You got it. Happy senior day. I'm so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do next. Love you. Hi, Mitch. Congratulations on a fantastic career at Creighton. We are so proud of you and we are cheering you on from Brazil. Let's go, Mitch. You're awesome. I wish I could be there tonight, but I want you to know, 34, I love you. Always praying for you. Mitch, we're so proud of you on your awesome career at Creighton and can't wait to see what you do going forward. Good luck the rest of the season. Congratulations, Jake. I love you, Jacob. I love you so much. Hey, Denzel, Coach Willie Anderson, Q6 All-Stars, calling you out of Orlando, Florida. Hey, super proud of you, man, and uh, all you've done and accomplished on and off the court. Um, congrats on reaching this moment, uh, getting to senior night. Continued success as you uh, finish up your career at Creighton, and, uh, you know, more blessings to you. Peace. Yo, I want to give a big shout out and congratulations to Damian Jefferson on his senior night. I love you, gang. You know, I'm pouring our way back in the A. Do your thing. Why not you? 
One more time for our four seniors, ladies and gentlemen. This does conclude our senior day ceremony. Thank you to all of you for your support during these challenging times. And we look forward to having 17,000 fans here on a regular basis in the near future. Go Jays! Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. These vagabond shoes.